Hi, this is Talon Jane. This is FTT 211 Week 2 Project. Uh, this week we're going to be lapping the barrel. Uh, it's similar to crowning, but not quite the same. I'm going to show you on the whiteboard here kind of what exactly we're going for, and uh, then we'll get into it. Uh, today is Friday, June 30th, so I will not be putting out another video before July 4th, so happy 4th of July, everybody and uh hope you enjoy the video thanks let's draw a barrel here okay so when we're talking about lapping a barrel this is going to be like a side profile of the barrel you have the inside of the barrel right here with the rifling that comes up now on our particular um muzzle loader, this is flat ground straight across right here. Okay. And what we're trying to do, a crowning a barrel, let's see if I can... crowning a barrel, what that means is using a lathe or a crowning tool you're actually going to put in kind of this shape towards the end of the barrel. And that's really exaggerated. And there's different kinds of crowns. There's that style. There's another crown that's like... Okay, so the other style of crown is you'll actually, it'll actually look like this. That makes sense. Uh, this is like the barrel cut in half. So what we're doing today is we're not crowning the barrel. We're not putting a, a specific type of crown on it. What we're doing is this top edge here. Let's see if I can that little bit right there okay so this little top edge right here what we're doing is we're just knocking off this little lip right here on this inside so that it looks like when you zoomed in it'll look like that little bit before the rifling we're just taking off just this little tiny edge right here okay so that's the rifling going down that's a zoomed in portion of the barrel okay so well, how we're doing that is we're taking this little brass tool here. Now, if you don't have one of these, um, you can use like a, a carriage bolt or preferably a brass carriage bolt, uh, but you want it to be oversized the hole because what's gonna happen is this is gonna go down in there and using a lapping compound, the school sends us a very similar lapping compound to what they sent us when we did the um, brass or the uh, lapping for the scope rings. So, you know, it's almost the same stuff. Uh, just like when we did the lapping of the scope rings, I'm not gonna use this. It's super thick, super hard. So I'm going to use, oh, I'm gonna have to find it again. I thought it was sitting right there. But you're gonna lose the lapping compound that I got from the uh, store for doing valve lapping. It's a lot, um, I think it works a lot better than this. It's still the same grit, still 220, but it, it's a little bit more liquidier. So we'll use that. I'll find it here in just a minute. And uh, for you, it'll take no time. I'm sure it's gonna take me half an hour to find it. But uh, what we're going to do is we're gonna chuck this up into our drill, okay? Uh, because we're not using a lathe so we're gonna chuck this up into the drill here you're gonna need a relatively big drill this is a half inch chuck so um i would say hopefully your your drill if you have just a little dinky one it might not fit the one that the school sends you it's got a pretty big shank on it uh nah you can probably get away with just about any drill for that. I thought it was a half inch. It's not. That's like a, well, I'll tell you what it is. Hold on. It's 
It's got about a 3 8 inch shaft. So as long as you have a drill that'll do at least a 3 8 inch shaft, then you should be fine, which I think that's most drills. So now next thing is if you have a speed control on your drill, you want to go to the lowest speed. Okay. Um, we, the brass is soft. What we're going to be doing is using the lapping compound to take away this edge. Um, you're going to, you're going to push this in and you're just going to kind of walk it around like this real gently. And you're going to let the lapping compound do the work. Okay. To take this off. So, uh, without much further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the barrel chucked up in the vise and zoom in on it and so you can see everything and I will try to make note of every part of this assignment that's required so that you don't miss anything. Alright so one of the first requirements is actually showing the barrel being chucked up in a vise of some type. So we're going to be using the real Avid Master vise here uh, again and uh, we're going to flip over uh, from the padded jaws to the soft jaws. And put these back in. I'm going to chuck this up right in here. Just like that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and find an angle where we can see this. Okay, so the second requirement that you need to have on here is a close-up of the rough part of the uh, barrel right here. So I'm going to go ahead and resituate the camera to show you this. Well, after situating it and moving it around a bunch and trying to get the camera figured out, I forgot that the real avid vise can be turned any way I want it to be turned. So. All I had to do was readjust it so that we got a good angle. So that being said, let's see if I can get a real close up of what we're looking at here. So what we're trying to mess with, I can grab something that will point really well here. Oh! There we go. So all we're trying to do Soften this little lip that goes right around right here. So I might have to take a high def photo or whatever and then I'll include it in the video right there. Okay, so that being said, next thing we're going to do is grab our valve lapping compound. Okay, so this is what we're after. And we're going to put it on our brass tool here that we've chucked up into our vise. Okay, so like I said, I've shown you, let's see. So there's four parts. So one is showing this getting chucked up into the vise. Two is showing the close up of that, which again, reminder, boom, right there. Three is, I've already showed you how to chuck this up but you're gonna chuck up this 3 8 uh, drive into your drill. You can set your drill up on a low speed. And what you're going to do is kind of walk this around a little bit while you're in the, in the hole there. And you're gonna not put a lot of pressure. I'm going to aim this back at myself because it's easier this way. You're not gonna put a ton of pressure. And then um, all you're gonna do is just kind of go like this get that even circle and your goal is to smooth that all out. So before I do that, I gotta take those pictures that I just showed you a second ago. So hold on one second. For my own peace of mind, um, I am gonna use the vise just to aim this down just a tiny bit. Um, the only reason for that is to try and gravity keep everything from going inside of this barrel too far. Um, because you can't swab this barrel all the way out, you don't want to set your 
barrel up like vertically or even downward like that because that stuff will go down in there and I'm assuming it's going to be difficult to get out. So I'm going to go ahead and name it at a slightly downward angle like that. All right. And we're just going to take a small gloop of this valve lapping compound. I'm going to put that on here. And we're going to put a little on the barrel there. All right, and again, at a slow speed, we're just going to push this in. What the reason why it's so important to go at a slow speed is we're not trying to generate heat and we don't want to destroy our brass bit here. So we're just slow speed. Yourself a little rag here too. I'm just gonna kind of clean this out a little bit so I can see where we're at. All right, so not very far. That's where we're at. I didn't go for nearly long enough. So I'm gonna tell you. So far, I'm. This is probably gonna be about a. And I'm, guess, I'm guessing completely right now. 10, 10 to 12, 15 minute process. But we'll see. Okay, I can already see some improvement. I'm gonna go ahead and readjust this so you can see it. Give me one moment here. I don't know if that shows up on the camera, maybe a little bit. Let's see if I can zoom in here. By zoom in, I mean move the camera closer. Okay, there we go. So as you can tell, We've just barely taken off this edge right here. I mean, really almost just shined it up, but uh, I don't think, I'm not quite satisfied with this yet. So just a little bit more and then I think we'll be there. I, I, I'd, say, I'd say we're about halfway. But what you can really notice now is the very even pattern of the lands and grooves of the rifling. So, okay, uh, a little bit more. If you'll notice, it's just a slight diagonal grind from the flat of the face to the flat inside the barrel we just have a nice taper on all the of the lands and the grooves perfectly around the whole thing so nice and even okay and let me get a good picture and I'll stick it right there for comparison here's the old one and here's the new one Looks good. I thought so too. 
All right, and with that, that finishes the project portion of this week. However, I will tell you that for whatever ungodly reason, SDI decided to include a hidden word part of this project. So when you're doing this, don't forget, if you do a video or you do pictures or whatever, scroll down a little bit, because at the bottom, there's a second section where you have to submit a 250 word document about what challenges you saw, which you saw me do it. I don't know what challenges somebody could have. Maybe you don't have a drill. Maybe you don't have a good vice with soft jaws. Maybe, I don't know. You tried to use the lapping compound they sent you and it was too thick. Whatever reason that you have that makes this difficult, you gotta write a paper about that. My reason is none of this was difficult. Um, and then secondly, you have to um, uh, summarize the steps, which the steps are really simple. Chuck this up in a vise, use the lapping compound, put it on your drill, do the end till you get that nice 45 degree angle inside of there. Um, it is gonna wear away a little bit at your brass. Uh, also, full disclosure, if you'll notice the second photo looked a little bit nicer, it's because between the first photo and the second photo, I sanded the end of this with 400 grit, uh, just to smoothen it out so I could see that angle a little bit better. So if I was to do this again, or you're doing this, maybe do that part first, then do the lapping, uh, just to ensure that your, you know, photo, photo evidence is whatever, matchy match. So with that being said, uh, this assignment's over. Next week is a big one. Going to be treating this barrel, bluing, browning, whatever you decide you're doing. Um, so stay tuned next week because we're going to go on an adventure with this barrel. All right. Thanks a lot and have a good, happy 4th of July. Bye.